thank you so much for coming. It's so important that you are all here because four years, four long, painful years, what an awful milestone. I mean, I think about all of the things that have happened in my life in four years. I think about all of the things that have happened in the world in four years. Just here in Australia, we've had Gillard and then Rudd and then Abbott and then Turnbull. We've seen Trump, Brexit, so much has happened. And then I think about the innocent men on Manus, the children and the families on Nauru. They have spent every minute of every hour of every one of those days trapped behind the same fence. And in that time, people have been shot at, people have been sexually assaulted, six people have died. So we're here tonight to remember, we're here to remember the people who have needlessly died at our government's hands. And we are here to demand a future for those who are still left on Nauru and Manus. Yeah. Now, I have been over to Manus myself three times, and I have seen with my own eyes what is and what always has been an absolute dead end arrangement, an arrangement that will produce nothing ever other than misery and human suffering. My first trip was just after Reza Barati was murdered. Murdered by people our government paid to keep him safe. And it was awful. The place was shockingly overcrowded. It was, it was devastating. It was an awful scene. But the thing that I will never forget, the thing that I can't ever forget, were the looks of absolute fear and exhaustion on the faces of the men who were detained there. These, I mean, everywhere I walked in that place, I met people who would point out the bullet holes and show me their injuries and describe their fears. But the thing that caused them the most anguish was the uncertainty. Would they be there a, a week, a year? forever would they ever get a chance at a life in freedom and safety would they ever see their families again they didn't know and here we are four years later they still don't know one of the men i met he described that uncertainty as being like mental torture he said it's like mental torture well you know what i'm sorry to say four years later his torture continues. Now, I have been back twice since that first awful trip. And I have really come to know some of the extraordinary and resilient and talented people that our government insists on tormenting. And I wish you could meet them tonight, but please find the video online because they're incredible. I mean, I'm talking about people like Fahad, a guy whose beautiful paintings and poetry have featured at major exhibitions in Melbourne and Canberra. I'm talking about people like Imran Muhammad, a stateless Rohingya refugee who did not speak one word of English when we locked him up on Manus Island, but who has now written a whole book and just today published an opinion article in the Australian media. I'm talking about people like Beruz Bashani, a fearless, a fearless Iranian journalist, a guy who secretly produced an entire documentary on his mobile phone inside that detention centre. And guys who for four years, every day, have been told what to eat and where to sleep and when they're allowed to use the phone. They have been denied their liberty, denied their autonomy and denied, denied their most 
basic of human rights, but they defiantly refuse, they defiantly refuse to be denied their humanity. They are incredible people in awful circumstances. Every single one of them has had four years of their life ripped away from them. Every single one of them deserves a future. And you know what? We would be lucky to have them here in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, brother. So we're here tonight. Thousands of people around Australia stand together tonight with a really simple message. A really simple message for Malcolm Turnbull and for his government. And that is that enough is enough. After four years of fear, after four years of violence and suffering and shootings and death, enough is enough. Every single man on Manus, every single family and child on Nauru must be evacuated to safety. Yeah. They should be evacuated to safety because it is the right thing to do. I mean, all they want, all they have ever wanted is a chance. A chance at a life in freedom and in safety. And after four years, it is well and truly time for our government to show some basic human decency and give them that precious thing. So thank you for being here. Thank you for not forgetting them. Thank you for taking a stand. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Daniel. First